nice you can see your sail from from them a nice step see so i would have trouble getting in there it's a center cockpit nice handrails sturdy nice handrails this windows could have been a little bit larger and maybe symmetrical this is something 42 This could be a bit wider, I guess. So they didn't skimp on handrails again. And those forward looking, you see them also on the Elan, I believe. They're nice, you can see your sail from, from them. A nice step. And you have space for a second anchor, I guess. I don't know how they would be fastened, but you have it. And you can step on shore. Ooh, this is nice. I believe it's over the bed of the forward cabin. And for the anchor, yes, it didn't skimp on the depths. Depths is important, so it flushes down. But also, if there is something in there, you almost can't get through. See, so I would have trouble getting in there if something got stuck or fell down. This is a nice... Hey, I didn't see it. It's a center cockpit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I haven't seen a center cockpit in a while, especially from a nice storage, especially from, from a larger manufacturer. Okay, I broke this. More storage. You see, your aft cabin can have a look aft. Here's for your boom. And look, those are visible, actually readable. Which is... This is nice for standing here. You see it's curved. You can see and you can still steer. And all your instruments are there, nicely visible. And rails. This is a nice cockpit for a 42. You see? Both sides and you can you can expand the table. Go away. Oh it's nice. You have this kitchen. I, I have never been on a center cockpit boat, I have to admit. So there's your water heater, there's your motor. Nicely reachable by the way. There's your cooking. The window should have been here. Yeah, 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 yeah. A large, really large freezer. It's the same as on the 46. Yeah. Here. And by the way, handrails. Sturdy, nice handrails. Is this interesting? Small. Those are nice, you see? Storage, slide out storage. Nice idea because you don't really have space to like, go in there. And like in a cent in the center cockpit boat, the kitchen is actually. Oh, there is a step. The kitchen is in the center of the boat, which means it has space there. Yeah. And then you get this large uh, aft, like owner cabin. even get some some tables tables and purse usually called and the generous storage and those are those two lockers which we saw from outside and you can look outside which is great what does this do 
but that's something I want to know. Huh? Cool, a little bit of storage. And you have this walk through shower, which isn't, which is quite nice. Like you have your space here, mirrors, people. Okay, there's your black water tank. Nicely reachable, by the way, if you need to repair something, some storage. I usually don't see things made of the same material as, as the kitchen, like this fake stone or whatever they call it. It's okay. And you can get through it. And here, so... I guess the whole idea of this space, so the shower is situated in the middle, and then there is a toilet and then there is a cabin. So if you come from upstairs, from the cockpit, you can hang you should be able, I'm not sure if they implemented such a thing, but you should be able to hang your clothes in there without getting wet stuff all over the boat. So I guess uh, that's the idea behind that. Definitely a nice variant. And it nicely fits into, this, into your chart space. People still can get through, but you can have your uh, you can walk on your charts undisturbed. Nice, hmm? yeah. Definitely a nice variant. But it's obviously no, not like it's an owner's version, obviously, because otherwise there would be like two cabins back there. But it's nice to see owner's version sometimes, because usually like when chartering, you see charter versions. And here's the second head. I won't go in there. These windows could have been a little bit larger and maybe symmetrical. I don't know what the idea was, but I guess it's okay. And you have full standing room. Like 190 at least. Maybe 195. And it's a wet one. I'm always unsure about all those wooden things when you have a wet shower. Like a wet head, it's called. And behind here you have your closest storage. Quiet, it's okay. And this is what is often missing. Like, you don't have to need do like two separate sitting areas, make one which can be transformed and sit, actually sit all your guests. And especially this boat will probably have a charter configuration, so three cabins. I guess they won't have four, but maybe they even have one with four. But in a charter configuration, like, that's, that's usually a problem. Because you have so many sleeping spaces, but then your cockpit table, for example, only has this small table so you can't in this cockpit it's actually better you can sit eight people you can't let them eat at the same table but you can sit them but usually downstairs so like on those cats we saw on the lagoons there is like a sitting area that size i'm never sure what they're what they're thinking about when they design it because of course people who usually charter cats and usually they only use them in good weather but still some inside sitting area would be nice this was a sunbeam 42 